Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20th of the Leak Code June Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. And also for for the fathers in uh, in the US, or I don't know where Father's Day is celebrated, or at least what time, uh, depending on, because I think like Canada is a different one or something like that. Maybe I made that up. But in any case, happy Father's Day from, from here. Uh, in New York for uh, all your fathers or your for all the fathers and your fathers out there and today um yeah and for people who are following my my traveling adventures I am back in New York and some of you might have known if you watched that video where my drone flew away uh, due to this guy's fault but but I did get another one back so here here hopefully this one will uh hang out for a little bit and I think sometimes in my my drone videos, my flying away, oops, my flying away videos, uh, you're often wondering what I say when I wave goodbye to it. I say bye bye drone. Hope you come back. Uh, and so far, it has come back every time except for the times that it didn't. So eh. anyway, today's poem is that was a very long intro. Today's poem is a twenty short encoding of words. Okay, let's take a look. A rather encoding word is any weapon string S in a way of indices such that word length is what does that even mean? Word start length is indexes that length. Okay, so I mean there's just a one to one mapping to an indices, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, this is hard to read. Okay, the S stands for the characters for each index, the substring of S starting an index up to is equal to word sub I. Say what? What does that even mean? Man, this is tough. Okay, so basically you want to... It, it's it's They call it an encoding, but it's almost like a compression type thing where you try to compress these words into one longer... Str or, well, one one string that is longer but shorter than the, the sum of the characters. Um, well, maybe not. It depends, I suppose. Uh, and, and then the indexes to kind of be like, hey, we start here. Okay, uh, kind of almost like a compression thing, though. In this case, it's just longer. Um, hmm. In this case, it seems like, and, and this is some of this is informed by the fact that this week has been a try week, right? So this is going to be the same idea: is that for every word, we see if there's any overlap, right? And the overlap has to be pretty much um, complete. Otherwise, otherwise, no bueno. Yeah, other, um, there are a couple of ways we can think about doing it. Uh, I think, hmm, I think I want to do it for, by length first, um, just to make it so that the edge case, because I think, so you can do it in either case, um, one by one, using inserting things into a try. But I think if we do it by the up the the higher character first, then we don't have to worry about it so much. Um, and of course, you can do it in other ways as well. But yeah, so the word length is only seven. There's only two thousand words. We can use try. We can use eh, try e fakey things. But uh, but we're gonna do try today just because we're gonna you know do as intended. I know that maybe especially during a uh, a competition or something, I might opt for, you know, implementation speed, which I look at constraints, maybe that's okay, 2,000 times 7 times 7, so that's like, what, uh, 50 times 2,000 is 100,000, and that would be fast enough and space enough, right? Um, we have enough space, we have enough speed, but, but you know, if you're doing an interview, they probably want you to do the try solution, so let's, let's do the try solution. Um, I am a little bit lazy today, so... I am going to look at yesterday's, not for any particular reason, but except for the copy and paste to try stuff. Um, some stuff may not make sense, but at least I, I don't, you know, we, we'll figure it out together. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video, do check that out. You could just go, uh, YouTube search for this and click on my face or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so, okay. So, I f do, do, do we don't need the look up part, at least maybe not, I don't know. Uh, add word is kind of weird. 
I think I didn't. I think I removed some stuff because I I saw the lookup thing, but I think here is probably fine. This is copy and okay. So now we have some skeleton of a try. I'm not gonna go over it too much. This this you know thing it's kind of standard. Um, and I, as I said yesterday, if you do have an interview, um, I will I actually usually you know communicate by talking to the interviewer. I'll be like, hey, I you know uh, do we have to implement this node and try or can we just assume reasonable exp you know implementation of these things and for the most part they usually let me just be like hey yeah assume these things exist if we have time we'll implement it near the end or you know afterwards or something because we're going to focus on the problem and just using try as a uh, ADT right like an abstract data type um, you and of course this is more prevalent when I was doing a live interview, meaning on a whiteboard interview, literally writing on a marker, right? Um, on, on coding, you know, it's it's much easier because, well, you just type that, or at least I type faster. Anyway, so we have this as a skeleton for now. It may not be 100% right, but, you know, it's a little bit easier. So what I want to do is sort by, and this is, to be honest, I think this actually makes the, the complexity more expensive. <laughs> But it does make some of my stuff uh, easier, is why I, I do it this way. Um, let's just say word. So for each word, we want to sort by the negative of the word. So then we have the highest, um, the, the longer words first. So then later when we look it up, we don't need to find out how many additional characters that you need. Eh, maybe this is actually quite unnecessary, but, but it's also not a big deal. Uh, it, it just simplifies my edge cases, right? Where, because because the reason I say that is because we have time, and then we add me, then we can just be like, okay, this gets swallowed up, right? We can just do a lookup. But if we do me, and then time, then we have to be like, oh, there's two extra characters, so then now we add two, and so forth. Maybe it's not that bad of an edge case, but but that's what I was thinking about. In case you're wondering, okay. So then now we're forward for in words, we go. Okay, um, hmm. well, we want to, so we have, also we have to define a try. Uh, we want to do something like try dot add word of word, but what I want to do is maybe find first. Uh, maybe I could say found is you go to this or something like that. And here, uh, <sighs> trying to th these interfaces are always a little bit awkward. Maybe maybe that's not ideal. Maybe I, maybe I just do it twice. Maybe that's fine. If try dot find word, uh, if we cannot find the word, then we just add the word. And and here then we add you know the total answer length is equal to zero. And then here we add the length of the word plus one. The plus one being the dollar sign. Um, yeah. And then we can return answer. And then here we just have to do the fine word then, right? That's the only thing we have to add. Oh, I had this index thing because it made sense for the last problem. It doesn't make sense here. But yeah, fine word, sub that root for C and word. Current is equal to current dot get edge. Um, if current is none, return false, return true, right? So it's not even fine word, it's fine. It's almost like fine prefix, maybe. So let, let's put it that way. Because I think that's a little bit confusing the way that I had it. Uh, okay, so let's give it a spin. See if this at least runs. Uh, sort, okay. Uh, I think this is what I meant to do. Get edge. Oh, huh. How did I miss that? Let's see. Hmm. Why is that? Well, what, the why is because the me is not uh, found. Oh, well, yeah, the find is returning force for this one. Why is that? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's see. When it will quit, the T seems to be okay, but so yeah, I cannot find me. Oh, 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 I'm being dumb. That's of course it doesn't. Uh, 
I think one thing that we, uh, I, 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 I did think about this when I was looking at the problem, but yeah, but of course, the thing that we're looking to do is look at it backwards. Um, and the reason is because we're, we're getting the, um, we're looking at the stuff that basically you, the common prefix is the suffix, right? So therefore we can do it backwards and then just look. So yeah, so that is my four. Um, um, how do I want to do it? How do I want to say it? Four. Someone like that, maybe? Maybe that's a little bit confusing, actually. Uh, in that, you know, for eh, maybe that's okay. I want to change it just in case there's some like weird shadowing variable thing. Uh, that's okay. So that looks good. Let's give it a quick submit. Hope maybe I could have tested a little bit more out of it. Looks good. Cool. Uh yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I think a lot of heavy lifting is by the fact that you know we have a try class and node class from yesterday. Uh, usually I will write it out, but literally it's from yesterday. So I am a little bit lazy on this one. Um, but yeah, I think the, the tricky part about this one is just finding out, um, you know, the, the try to figure out what the question is asking. And the question is asking basically this, um, the same suffix thing and the suffix can be like, you know, looked done a different way. But the way that I did is by using a try and then reversing the string to get the prefix off that suffix. Um, cool. Um, what is the complexity, right? Well, for each word, eh, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. So I use a lot of additional space just because of easier to type, but you can definitely do this with more efficient space. That said, because of try, everything is going to be ha have at least linear space because uh, each character will have it in the worst case, each character will have his own uh, node, right? So yeah. And in terms of time, well, for each word, for each character, we only go up the node once, the tree once. So everything is going to be linear. So this is going to be linear, um, linear time as well, uh, where linear means the number of characters in all the words combined. Because for each character, you can think about it looking at one node and maybe adding a node and, you know, contributes to this once, right? So everything is linear. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I'm curious why I was so much faster last time that doing it. Yeah, okay. I did it the look up strategy way, but today I wanted to um, do it the try way. So yeah, um, cool. We have a eight hundred something, eight hundred eleven day streak. All thanks to your you, you know supporting here. Um, that's all I have though. So stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.